taking you on a bit of a bigger journey than just our usual corner and we are going to be looking at every houseplant in my houseplant collection. Just to give you a little uh, preface, I have over 70 houseplants. I don't know how many houseplants I have anymore. I haven't counted but I'll put a little counter at the bottom of the screen and we'll find out as we go along this video. So let's just jump right into it. Let's go along and take a tour of my houseplants. We're gonna start in the bedroom uh, at the bedroom door. This is my bedroom door and hanging on a wreath hanger. I have this curly spider plant. She's putting out lots of babies. She's just a baby making machine. She's put out lots of new babies since I've had her too, but she did have some of these when I first got her. And I believe this is called um, a spider plant Bonnie, I think it's called when it's curly like this. I don't really remember, but curly spider plant. Moving on, down here we have this dying jade plant, but that's okay, she's, she is what she is. She's not super pretty anymore, but she's still a plant. Then I have the Calathea macroiana or peacock Calathea. Variegated Maranta leucanera kerchoviana. Cur and you can see part of them isn't variegated. And then this back side is super variegated, including this half moon leaf, which is so pretty. And both sides of the plant have new leaves coming out. So I'm excited to see what that'll look like in the end. Here we have a Peperomia obtusifolia red edge. So you can see it's got that red edge to it, which makes it the red edge, no way. Really pretty plant. I really like just this striking dark green variegation. In the back here we have a Peperomia obtusifolia variegata. So both the same plant, variegated form, green form. Love this plant. It's very striking as well. Over here I just have some Scindapsis propagations and some Holiday Cactus propagations. Here we have two of my biggest plants, my Monstera Deliciosa and my Alocasia Regal Shield. My Regal Shield actually has a new leaf coming out down here. It's kind of stunted though, it's, it's not putting out as much of um, power as it was. It's kind of stuck right here, but we'll see. Hopefully it'll unfurl all the way pretty soon. Above both of these plants, I have my Aschenanthus, Ash 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 I'm not sure how to say it, but it's the regular lipstick plant. So this is just the green variety. Very beautiful, those thick succulent leaves. I love this one. Down here we have, oh, there's me. Down here we have a plant that I rescued. This plant was seven feet tall and five dollars from Facebook Marketplace. I got it, I chopped it here, and then this is what's left over of it. This all is new growth from where I chopped it. It was just this stump for the longest time, and then it's grown this much ever since. So I love this one. I can't wait for it to get bigger. In the windowsill here, I have... There's my card. I have this Senesio Macroglossus, or Trailing Wax Ivy. Moving along, here I have a bunch of uh, Golden Pothos and Jade Pothos propagations, and another Golden Pothos propagation in here. Then here I have my Coral Cactus or Succulent. Um, this succulent is grafted, you can see right here, these are two plants put together. This doesn't naturally grow like this. Moving on to my cactus and succulent section. So here we have an aloe. This guy is just a big cactus. Uh, I don't know what 
kind he is. I got him off of Marketplace, but he's pretty great. This is my Burrow's Tail. I have been bringing this one back to health and it's working and looking better and better all the time. Then I have my string of hooks. New growth! This is my pickle plant. Bunny ear cactus. And at the back here we have a string of dolphins. Underneath this table, I just have two of these globe cactuses. I don't know if these are actually the globe cactus, but it's just these little round boys. I have two of them. One in this mustard container and one in this little chicken. And then here I have a grafted moon cactus that is slowly dying because it doesn't have any roots, but that's okay. It's still cute. Over here, we have a Bolivian turtle vine. It's a big trailing plant. On the opposite side of the bed from the turtle vine, we have a string of hearts or a Serapegia woody eye. This is a really long plant. It's doing great. Usually I have a grow light on up there, but I have it turned off right now. Then on this rack here, we have a Dracaena marginata. This plant here, Cissus discolor, or Rex begonia vine, even though it's not a Rex begonia vine, Maranta leucanura lemon lime, Calathea, ra rattlesnake Calathea, I actually don't know the Latin name of this one, but rattlesnake Calathea. Then down here we have a watermelon peperomia, beautiful, Philodendron silver sword, you can see I got it for $10. Photonia or nerve plant. And then down here's all my plant supplies. I also, I missed this plant here. I have next to my curly spider plant, I have just a regular spider plant uh, in the hanging basket up there. We're just leaving the bedroom, which is right here and coming over here to the living room. We'll start with this plant stand here. So, Hanging there, I have a pothos, uh, a pothos, an epipremnum aureum, or a pothos pearls and jade. This one is one I recently got, if you watch my previous video. Then uh, adjacent to that, I have this golden pothos trailing. And then we'll go down here to the shelf. So. First off, I have the Philodendron Narrow or the Philodendron Jungle Boogie. It is putting out two new leaves for me, one right here and one right here, which is both super exciting. Then I have the Philodendron Heteraceum uh, Green Form, the Heartleaf Philodendron. I have the Philodendron Heteraceum Lemon Lime back here. Skindaptus Pictus Exotica right here. Skindaptus Pictus Argerius right here and she's starting to trail quite a bit which is really beautiful nothing on this middle shelf because i'm working on it <laughs> and then on this lower shelf is most of my peperomias so we have my peperomia gravio lens peperomia hope peperomia incana peperomia Ginny, peperomia rubella peperomia fairy ray or happy bean and peperomia quadrangularis or peperomia beetle and I know you can't see all of these super well because of the purple light, but if you want to see them more in depth, I have a Peperomia collection up on my channel, so. Moving to the left of this shelf, up here uh, is another shelf of plants. This is my Angel Wing Begonia, Sansevieria Moonshine, um, Marengo Ivy is the name of this one. It's like a, at first I thought this was wax ivy, it's not wax ivy, but it's a marengo ivy, it's variegated. 
My holiday cactus, this is a Thanksgiving cactus, as you can see by the leaf shape and by the time it blooms. And then back here is just the common ivy. I don't really, this was like a cutting my mom gave me years ago, so I don't really know exactly what it is, but it trails pretty long. Then next to that shelf up here, we have my Zamiocalcus zamifolia or my ZZ plant and my Sansevieria laurentii next to it. And then down here in this basket, which I just love the look of so much, is another Ashenanthus, Ashenanthus, um, or my black pagoda lipstick plant. And you can see that this one has that really cool vein pattern on the back and the front, and the dark color on the back of the leaves, which I just think is so cool. Some of the leaves don't have it as much. I don't really know how to boost that, but that's this area. Okay, we're moving away from this side of the apartment to this side of the apartment. In the corner here, I have my Ficus elastica burgundy rubber tree. This plant does not put out new leaves for me. I don't really know why I have two grow lights over it. I don't know if it's not getting enough light or if it wants less light. I don't really know what its deal is, but Ficus elastica. Here's my rickrack cactus. I just repotted this one yesterday, so it's doing a lot better already. It was really wrinkly. The soil was in, oh, you can see a little bit of the wrinkles there. The soil it was in was really dry and um, just crappy. So it's got a nice new succulent soil there. Here's my aloe vera and my dead ficus benjamina. Okay, this shelf is gonna be the hardest to do, but we'll work from the top and go all the way to the bottom. So first in the hanging baskets, I have two here. This one at the back is my Gyanara rentiaca or um, purple passion. Next to it is my neon pothos. And here is my huge sago palm, which I will never get rid of because I found it on the side of the road for free and I brought it back to life, so yay. <laughs> And then in the first shelf, we have my Marble Queen Pothos, some String of Hearts cuttings, and my Tradescantia Zebrina at the front. And then in the back, we have my Monstera Adansonii, which is putting off this cute new leaf. On the side, I have my Philodendron Heteracium Brazil, or Rio, some people call this. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to keep this plant here because, as you can see right here, some of the leaves get bleached out from the sun and then they die off. But this plant loves being in the sun because it is putting out babies like you wouldn't believe. I've already gotten these three babies off this stem and it's putting out this one. Over here I've gotten these two babies and it's putting out this one. Over here I've gotten a baby and it's putting out this one. So it's just on fire and I don't want to take it out of the window because I love all the new growth, but we'll see. Then on the second shelf, here is my mother of thousands. In the back there is my Kalanchoe. Here is my Alocasia um, African Mask or Alocasia Poly. Here is my Moon Valley Friendship plant, or it's a Pilea. Love this plant. Here's my Variegated Bear Paw, String of Watermelons, Sansevieria Mikado, Lithops, and I don't know what type of succulent this is, but she's very cute. Then on the third shelf, we have my Tridescantia Nanook, what I believe to be a Philodendron Imperial Red, Homolomina Emerald Gem in Water, Succulent Planter with a Bear Paw and two other random succulents, Horthia, uh, uh, Hoya Pubicalix, a bunch of propagations that failed, and then at the bottom we have my um, Hoya Carnosa Compacta or Hoya Hindu Rope. My Ficus Teneki. This is a Ficus Teneki. That other one is not a Ficus Teneki. This is a Ficus Teneki or Ficus Variegata, I think. I see it's lost a leaf. Here is my Cordyline Fructosa. Its new growth is just so beautiful. It's this beautiful pink and green color, and eventually the leaves darken up and turn this color, but I love how the new growth comes in. And I don't even like pink plants, so that's saying something. 
here is my uh, Euphorbia Amic Variegata. And here is my Raphidophora Tetrasperma. And on the table here, I have my ox tongue succulent and this other succulent that I don't know the name of. On the other side there, kind of in the corner, is my Peperomia Ruby Cascade. And she just, she loves it over there, actually. She's putting out so much new growth. So, yeah. These are my Marimo moss balls. They're actually my partners, but I take care of all the plants, so. As you can see, I need to change the water because there's a ton of cat hair in there. But they're still healthy and they're still happy, so yay! Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope you enjoyed my tour. If you have any tips or love to share, please leave it down below in the comments. I love to learn from you and I could always use some more houseplant tips. And if you have any suggestions for plants, I should bring it to my home. Also leave them down below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hang out with me more often, hit subscribe. I don't know when I post, but I do post. And uh, that's all for today. So take care of yourself, enjoy your plants, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.